Hey everybody, welcome to another edition of RV Tips and Trips. Today I'm going to do a review on Vacation Village, which is an Encore RV resort. It's located here in Largo, Florida. Some of these sites are kind of shabby looking. Ours wasn't too bad. Uh, this one here, they got a lot of junk just left outside. So I think management here though is trying to get after people because there was a derelict minivan over here. Oh, right here actually. And uh, now it's gone. And then I saw somebody that works here take a picture of license plate of that truck that's been sitting there and hasn't moved. So, uh, and the whole time we've been here hasn't moved at all. So I think the uh, management here is trying to get the park cleaned up. If they do that, this is not too bad of a place. So. Their pool is nice. There's a little canal over here. They got a walkway to cross over to the uh, pool. No hot tub, but they do have a pool. It's a heated pool. So here's a crosswalk over with a little bridge that goes over the canal. Not too bad. Uh, have a pool over here. This volleyball was over there. Uh, Internet service is real good here too, is because there's a cell tower right there. When you do pull into this place, there is really no place to temporarily park the RV. When we pulled in, we pulled in right over here, and there's, as you can see, there's just no place to temporarily park your RV. I mean, we're 50, 55 feet long altogether, and you can't just pull over here because uh, you'd be blocking the road and same thing here. But we knew what site we were going to. Because we did the online check-in. All right, so the first thing you notice is it's uh, located right off a very busy road. So if you are one of the, have a, the misfortune of having one of these sites up front, you're gonna hear traffic all day long. Down where we are, we don't hear any traffic. Yeah, let's go around this way. So they do have shuffleboard, four courts. They look to be in good shape though. Yeah, they're looking very good shape. They keep the stuff locked up, so you're gonna have to get them from the office when the office is open.
and then you got volleyball right here and the pool. And then you got uh, pool tables. Okay, look like they're in good shape. So two pool tables. The unfortunate thing is you find kids in here a lot of times playing uh, pool, I mean little kids, which and a little ping pong. Oh, look at that. They even have foosball. Oh, miniature pool table. Okie dokie. All right, so in the pool area, they have this like little bar set up here and a, a grill that anybody's welcome to use, which is nice. Well, and that giant umbrella does provide some nice shade. And I tell you, in Florida right now, it is hot. All right. And over here is uh, bathrooms on the other side and a laundry room over here. And it's code, let's see. Yeah, I didn't like that. Uh huh. Ooh, nice and cool in here. Oh, that's the woman's. Good thing I didn't walk in there. So, these are the dryers. Wow. They all have clothes in it. And it's like somebody threw their laundry in there and left it. And then the washing machines. So, I don't think it takes a credit card directly you got to use that mobile app but the machines are two and a quarter that's not bad actually hey a free penny so 225 for the washers and 225 for the dryers gives you 36 minutes in the dryer 36 or 40 minutes and then a few more washing machines over here. So, nice clean laundry room. So, I mean, the park is okay. Some people gripe about it and then others uh, like it. It's kind of a mixed bag. It's okay. Uh, I've seen worse. I've seen better. Uh, but the location, you can't beat it. Uh, the other day we went to Clearwater Beach beautiful beach extremely busy very crowded uh, like I said because it is really really hot down here this I mean mid-July in Florida is really not the place to be unless you live here um, well like I said the location is good lots of things that you can see and do right from here you can make this your home base and uh, Port Ritchie is only 20 minute Tarpon Springs. We went to Tarpon Springs the other day. Tarpon Springs is nearby. Uh, that's only about a half hour drive from here. So Clearwater Beach was about 20 minutes from here. When you do go to Clearwater Beach, parking is a little pricey. It runs anywhere from $20 to $25, but that's for all day. So just be aware. So overall, I'd say not too bad. Um, I, I would say okay. To stay and go and do things and uh, so I give it a, a thumbs up I mean the park is not dirty or anything it's just you know some of the rigs uh, have seen better days there again a lot of annuals uh, a lot of seasonals seems that uh, Thousand Trails and Encore are pushing those right now and those are the ones that tend to have these rigs that look like they're just falling apart so uh, that those are the ones that kind of create the eyesores not all some are kept nice but uh, th there's quite a few where they're really kind of kind of iffy and pushing the envelope I would say but uh, this is an okay place to stay at like I said you can't beat the price all right until next time happy camping bye now
Thomas says, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and like and share. Until next time, happy camping.